Now this model kit review is of the USS Kitty Hawk. This is the uh, CV-63 and it's a 1 to 800 scale model of this aircraft carrier. It's a little unusual scale. Uh, these are ships are normally 1 350th or 1 700. Um, and then um, this is by Academy. We've got some uh, nice box art showing the finished model there. And uh, the planes. And it has a little stand. There are propellers. Let's have a look here. Some other photographs there of the finished model. And uh, the dimensions. Let's see here. There you go. 42 centimeters uh, long. No, yeah. 42 centimeters long. Let's have a look inside at our uh, parts. So first of all, let's have a look here at our main hull. Uh, it's fairly well molded. We do have some mold lines. Uh, we came off of the uh, sprue, but uh, pretty clean the rest of it with some nice details on the side. And here you can see our elevators going up and down. Here's our front. Then we have the uh, deck. Over here, and that also seems to be nicely molded. So here are our front two catapults, and uh, extra catapults there, as well as our um, landing area with our arrestor gear there. Got some nice fine little detail, like steps molded in there. And then this next sprue has the rest of the uh, parts for the ship. And uh, these are the radio antenna. You can have them up or down, I guess. And let's have a look here. We've got parts for uh, these are the elevators to bring the planes up to the top deck and uh, propellers and then our uh, drive shafts for the propellers this is probably for our uh, control tower the bridge all very nicely molded with lots and lots of little details put some missiles there so that's actually very very nicely molded God small and detailed these parts are. Okay. And then we have our stand and some aircraft. So there's the stand. It should be fairly easy to put together. Looks like it almost would snap together. And we have two of these. This is the same thing. These are our aircraft. These are the tails. So we have the F-14 here, the F-18. We've got four of each. And then this looks like uh, not sure what that is. As if that's the Prowler or not. Uh, 
here we have uh, two of the same things again. That looks like that's the Prowler. We have some F4 Phantoms here, some more Prowlers, We've got a helicopter. Fortunately, we do have some, as you can see there, some uh, mold lines. And uh, all their respective tails. So, over here we have our decals. Very nicely molded. These are decals for the planes. And then for the uh, landing area. And then the sticker for the, uh, for the stand. Now we're going to have a look at our uh, instructions here. First of all here, we have our uh, painting and decal guide. We start off here with, uh, looks like our missile batteries, and then the stand going together. And we put uh, some parts inside the hole. And then we've got the other... Uh, Little details here, it looks like a searchlight and so on. Um, some guns, and these are all added to uh, these are all added to the hole. So here you can see you can have your elevator in uh, up or down position. And then we start to uh, build all the additional. These are additional parts. Here's the um, stern of the ship. Um, our uh, propellers and shafts going on there and then the other side also being built there with our elevators and the additional details there's our rudders and then um, this is our on the deck all these extra little details including our uh, antenna and they are stored in the up position uh, when they're in port and then they go down uh, when they are in operations we then mount the uh, deck onto the hull and here we build the uh, bridge or tower Lots of little details. There's the uh, mast for the antenna. That's all then mounted on the uh, ship. Uh, here we go. We've got all the different, um, all the different planes: A7 Corsair, Prowler, Tomcat, Intruder. Uh, we've got the F4 Phantom, the Vigilante, we've got the Sea King, and the Hawkeye. We've got some additional vehicles there. Got a Hornet and a Viking, that's what that one was. And then we've got uh, our parts listing, as well as the color ne colors needed. So, all in all, it's a fairly detailed little model um, for a very large ship, and um, that'll be a great build.